This is Michael Hines again with your high school sports. Congratulate you. Uh, last Friday night's victory against uh, Cloudland. Seems like y'all were clicking on all cylinders. Uh, yeah, we played pretty good. You know, uh, didn't have near as many penalties this week as we did the week before. Uh, played a lot better. I thought we blocked a lot better. Just did a lot more better things. And I thought we had a, did a lot better job in our secondary. Thought we guarded and defended and tackled a little better in our secondary. Yeah, elaborate how you would prepare for this week's game against Happy Valley. Well, when you're at Hampton, you never take a Happy Valley game lightly because uh, you know what you know how good how well coached they are with Coach Jarrett, and you know they're going to do a good job, and you know they're going to be good defensively. And so, when you go to play a Happy Valley uh, as a rivalry game like this, you can really throw the records out the window, and you better prepare for a good football team and a good football game. We have uh, an exceptional amount of athletes up there right now. They're on a really good cycle of kids coming through. They're very well coached. We know it's going to be a challenge. It's a cross-county rivalry. Uh, it's one of our all-time uh, rivals uh, in school history. Uh, you know, so it's uh, it's definitely going to be a challenge. We're going to have to play much better than what we played uh, so far this year in order to give ourselves an opportunity to compete for a win. Uh, you got to know where number three is. Got to know where thirty-two is. I uh, got to know where number one is. Uh, those three players are, are really good athletes. Uh, they play hard. They're tough, uh, physical, and they've uh, got good athleticism. Well, uh, the thing is, I don't know if you can really sl uh, stop Hampton at all offensively. They're very, very multiple on offense. They can one play line up in the power eye and come out at you. And the next play, they can spread it out, and they can throw it around. And also, they have a very uh, mobile quarterback in, in Jones back there that can really tote the rock as well. So they're very multiple on offense. So uh, they, they present a lot of challenges that your defense has to prepare for. Number one thing is we have to do a better job of getting a line, and we have to be better tacklers. Uh, and that's something that we work on daily, but we've struggled with tackling at times this year. Although our defense has really been probably our bright spot up to this point. Offensively, we've struggled to put some points on the board. Uh, we've been able to sustain drives. We've been in the red zone several times, come away empty handy. And any coach will tell you that's coached, uh, you know, you've got to be able to capitalize on those opportunities in the red zone. So that comes with a mental focus and a mental toughness and execution, which is discipline. Without, you know, a lot of times we just have a missed assignment down there, or we'll have a have a penalty of some sort, kind of get us out of the scoring opportunity. And, and, you know, when you've struggled like we have up to this point, you can't put yourself behind the eight ball in those positions. So you got to really capitalize. And, and, you know, you know, if you don't score, you don't win. And uh, right now we've been struggling offensively to put points on the uh, We've really got to have our wide receivers make some plays. Uh, they've got to take advantage of some of their opportunities. Uh, they can't be big-eyed whenever the ball is going to come their way. Uh, you know, they've got to be expecting themselves to make the plays, and uh, we want to see some of those guys make some plays. Oh, yeah. I mean, we've played great defense up here for a long time, and that's something that we pride ourselves on. And uh, Coach Farrell, our defense coordinator this year, has really done a good job in preparing our kids. And, uh, you know, we, we've tried to take away some things from certain teams that we've played. And we have been successful at that. Uh, and also, you know, we've lost some one-on-one -on -one battles in the secondary. So that's just something that we have to do a better job at competing at. And like I said, we, we, we work on tackling up here a couple times a week uh, in preparation for each game. And we've really got to see that transition to the field. We've done all, too many arm tackles, um, you know, and, and, and we're not trans, transitioning a lot of that uh, fundamental tackles onto the field, therefore, We've uh, we, we've missed some tackles that's ended up you know in long games for the opposing teams, and we got to do a good job in our pursuit, get numbers to the ball, especially against a team like Hampton, who has big, strong, fast, physical, uh, skilled players, and uh, you're going to have to get numbers to the ball and swarm on that side of the ball. You think it it should be a big time game? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Happy Valley's well coached. Uh, you know they've played some tough teams. Uh, you know they hung right with South Green for a half. Uh, you know the, the wheels kind of fell off there at one point. But, uh, you know they're they're a good football team and they're well coached. And uh, you know we can't take them lightly. I mean you know it's just uh, it's another great opportunity for us to compete. Uh, you know and that's what we're looking for. Uh, we've got a young bunch experience-wise here that we're trying to get better each and every week. So far, we've had a great week of preparation. Uh, it's our second home game. We're going to have a uh, uh, military first responder appreciation night. Uh, we're 
our seniors are going to be honoring some embodies of uh, uh, military personnel or first responders. Uh, we're also going to join together with Hampton and, and recognizing all the men and women that uh, served our country uh, and put their lives on the line, as well as the first responders that's been through so much and done so many things for our great country. So we're looking forward to using this as an opportunity to show our appreciation for that. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to come out, we'll take the field, and put a product on the field that, uh, that our, our, our Warrior Faithful is going to be proud of.